Hello everybody and welcome. This is Spiritual Findings. I'm Vera Lynn and today we're going to do a tarot and oracle card reading for Aries for 2020 to see what we have in store for this year coming up. Or for some of you guys who are watching this during 2020, I do have different seasons going on. I have some different gemstones here to represent winter, spring, summer, and fall. So you can watch this video throughout 2020 just to kind of get some guidance on what season's coming up, maybe some advice. I'm also going to be pulling a few cards either from the fairies the angels or your animal spirit we did have a couple cards already pop up here so my aries we're kind of living hot and heavy and we want to see if things change for 2020 regarding relationship career um, love life um, your soul story let's get some good guidance for 2020 shall we I hope you guys leave me a thumbs up or subscribe I do this for a living I do a lot of live streams and maybe you can get yourself a free personalized reading all right so let's move on with it we do have a lot of cards flying out here so I have a different setup here I have winter spring summer and fall and you know what this actually looks like a great growth chart Okay, because you see we're starting off with the death card in winter and a few of you guys might be a little bit concerned about that But I see this as your new year resolution really sticking home Okay, you want that change whether it's with your body your relationship You know a certain aspect of your personality a hobby that you want to conquer I really feel like with you being so motivated as is as an Aries and pioneer trailblazer I think you're really gonna stick home I don't know if it's family relationship or um, maybe limitations with career that really have let this whatever this is that you want to accomplish in life really kind of go stagnant but this is your year you know I feel 2019 was a little bit all over the place it's not really you didn't really get to do what you wanted to do with the year but you know what this year coming up it's going to be different I don't know yeah you guys can see all the cards it's going to be different you know we're going to make sure that everything that we wanted to do is going to get done but we have to do so by having a good schedule a good to-do list okay you don't want to burn yourself out you don't want to light both flames at both ends of the candle you know and just burn yourself out completely because that's kind of what we were doing before right but we had a lot of issues and now those issues are we're kind of putting them to side or we're addressing them and we're moving on and that's where the knight of cups comes in so once you get your goals set for winter once you you know really come into the new year with your resolutions you know coming in hot change things with how you make money how you spend money we're really gonna see some pro progress with our emotions which I think underneath of it all Aries I think there's a lot of things that you want to either control with your emotions or understand about your emotions maybe some of you guys should look into shadow work I highly recommend that it's something that as humans we naturally don't want to address in our lives but unfortunately in order for us to really seek and enlightenment that's what we have to do if you're on the path to enlightenment shadow work is one of the things that you are going to tackle so for spring I really do see emotions coming in for some of you guys who are starting off the new year single it's going to be changing we're going to have people you know coming in that are potential you know partners um, for some of you who are married and really looking to change things the fact that you're doing you're you're doing away with a lot you're coming into your own you're having a rebirth so to say you're discovering what you want you're seeking it new chapter it's going to kind of bring things back in your relationship because now you're going to be less worried. You know, you're going to be getting better sleep at night. You're not going to be as emotional or as angry or have as much resentment about whatever it was that kept you in the same year it was 2019. All right. So now we're going to be moving into summer here. So I do feel for spring, 
you're good you're good to go you know your seat you're really reaping what you're sowing here with having a new life new chapter okay leaving that old you bad habits bad choices bad partners whatever it is behind okay so moving into summer i really feel the elegance now kind of come over you you have found your place on your throne. You are in the Queen of Wands. All right, and you're running things peacefully. This is a time for personal growth now. We established what was holding us back. Okay, we're, you know, moving forward in a more utopia, pleasant lifestyle that's really calming on our emotions we're getting better sleep we're worrying about you know our health the queen of thrones is now it's now it's time to grow what do you want to address what do you want to move forward what do you want to do with your life seek it okay if it's regarding relationships don't worry for some of you guys who are single i really feel like two to 2020 is going to be the time that you understand who it is that you want to date. You're kind of realizing who you are, and this is the point where you're realizing who you do you want to who do you want to date. You are you are the queen of thrones. So now people are presenting themselves to you because you have that positive mindset. Because you constantly every day have positive affirmations and now people are seeing it. They're addressing it. They want some of that positive energy. So Aries, at this point, you got to make sure that you're not letting in the psychic vampires. You're not making those bad decisions that you have in the past. Okay, you're, I feel like this is a little bit more of a love reading for 2020. I don't know if it's necessarily finding a new partner, but I do feel for some of you it is. But I do feel the love is the self-love, Aries. And we're going to address that by having a new new life that's where the death card plays in don't be scared of that death card however some of you might have lost a loved one in 2019 and it really kind of maybe brought some bad habits back from the dead or you know perhaps in you know in the process of mourning something came up talking to somebody old again you know whatever it might be we're gonna let that in the past okay it's a new beginning we're looking at this and we're looking at the flower on the flag and we're seeing that as a new beginning a brighter new beginning okay and use your instincts when it comes to those decisions all right moving forward as the knight of cups steady strong about our emotions now we're going to be in summer with the queen of wands we understand where we were we understand where we're going and we know what we want and we're making those decisions wise and we're doing it differently by kind of having a feminine outlook on it a peaceful outlook on it a I want to grow and have my passions my passions manifest all right now fall page of wands we've been doing this growing for 2020 that we've been wanting to do I think for a lot of you guys almost a whole decade but you know what better late than never I think something happened in 2019, maybe even 2018, that happened that you hit rock bottom or it was something, a feeling that you never knew was possible to feel a setback or something and you kind of been gearing yourself up for a new beginning, but you had to feel the lows in life. You had to feel that, that dark place that unfortunately we don't want to feel, but it's in the darkest places that we really know the power of the light. All right. So moving into fall, since we've done all this personal growth, and honestly, I'm proud of you because that's something that's really hard to accomplish. And if, if you look at the body posture in all these cards, do you know what they have in common, my Aries? They're all looking forward. Not one person, main character, because you do have the priests and the children, they're, they're not looking back. Their body posture is absolutely towards the future, okay? The Queen of Wands is definitely more present in the time, but she's still looking to the right. 
Okay, so we're not looking behind us. We're not going to fall back into old habits or anything like that. But let's get to it. I keep kind of, kind of delivering all these messages. But fall, right? Page of Wands. There's going to be a message about your growth. I feel like it might be a promotion. You know, all this has been about like love, relationships, self-love, you know, maybe getting into meditation. I don't really know, right? But here's where the good part comes because you've been working hard on yourself and people around you notice not only on the love interest side, but employers, interviews. They're going to see that passion, that drive that you already have, Aries, but it's tamed now. It's tame the way that you want it because now you're gearing and you're channeling towards what you want. All right. All right. So let's see here. I have pulled another card here off to the side. I'm going to leave that off to the side for now. All right. I don't know if you can see it. I kind of have my camera a little bit geared towards one place and the other. All right. So we're going to do from the Vintage Wisdom Oracle. And I love this deck. It's great for, you know, that pinup look, that gothic Victorian. I love it. Like I said, I do a deck review. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out on my channel, I do a deck review and a little bit how to read tarot. There's other videos too about enlightenment. If that's what you guys are seeking, you know, coming this 2020, there's a lot of how to stuff, some guided meditation. You know, if you guys are kind of new at this and don't really know where to start you know my channel does have some different stuff other than just these great tarot readings and like i said i do a lot of live stuff i'd love to chat with you guys see where you're at hear your stories draw a card or four to you if you'd like to book a reading you can go ahead and message me so this is the card since it just jumped out this is the card that we need to bring into our lives aries for 2020 bam beauty all right, Aries, we need to bring beauty into our lives. And it's not so much the outside beauty as the inside beauty. So I would say the beauty work is the love, the self-love that we're going to be doing this year. And here, let me show you this card because it's gorgeous. Look at that. It's a lovely piece. So be grateful. Have an elegance about you. Know that your beauty is going to radiate this year and attract things, that manifestation, those spells that you've been working on, they're gonna come into play, all right? And we're not gonna look back, all right? We're gonna work on ourselves inside and out and be who we wanna be and really just have at it. You know, in the end, who cares? If somebody's gonna be judgy about you, people judge you no matter what you do. Okay, <laughs> you could be doing charity work or you could be worshiping Satan. Either or, they're gonna judge you, it doesn't matter. All right, so let's put that card in the middle because that's what we just need to bring into the life. I feel like that's a good, suitable place for that. You know what, I'm also gonna bring in an animal spirit for you because why not? We could use an animal spirit for 2020, right? Now, when it comes to animal spirits, you could have an animal spirit for a project, for a day, for a week, for a lifetime. Animal, animal spirits are interchangeable too as well, guys. So let's see here, I'm feeling this card. This is the card. This is our animal spirit for 2020. Are you ready, guys? Zebra. Let go of your fear and know that you are safe and protected at all times. So I think that's where we need to let go of some of that distress, depression, resentment, anger. Let go. And call on your spirit guides, Aries. If you have spirit guides or ancestors who have passed, don't be afraid to call on them for help and for answers, okay? They won't do it unless you ask. You got to invite them in. <laughs> All right, so the zebra. All right. I'm feeling one from the angels, and then we'll flip that last tarot card, and this is your reading for 2020. You know, Aries, I see nothing but spiritual growth, enlightenment, on the right track, not letting anybody steer us away. We are on a path here, okay? You just got to stop for self-care. Stop every once in a while for self-care, but don't let fear rule you. All right, here it is. 
the star, happy times. Make positive, optimistic, long-term plans on the right path. There you go, Aries. And just so you know, for some of you guys who are single and watching, the star card does represent an Aquarius. All right. And the death card that you begin here with, but I do see it representing more of some spiritual growth, letting go of bad habits, does represent Scorpios. Okay. Giving you a heads up about that. All right. You also have a strong presence of um, fire sign, which you guys are fire signs yourself. I want you guys to pay attention to the moon cycles this year. I want you to bring in some spiritual practices that are important to you, whether it's meditation, eating well, or just taking some time for yourself to just recharge. All right. Maybe picking up your own tarot deck and just having at it. Whatever really is that kind of spikes your curiosity. Okay. All right. So let's see here. Three of Cups. So overall, this year is going to be a victory, a celebration. It's going to be happier than the ones before. It's going to be a break from the ones before. You're not going to let the, the party, the celebration keep you off the wrong the wrong like veer you off the wrong track right because it's going to be it's going to be the type of celebration that keeps you motivated okay keeps you going you're going to literally gather with your friends or your family or do something because you accomplished this okay all right it's going to make a difference it really is so congratulations Aries all right, guys, I hope you give me a big thumbs up, subscribe, as well as more importantly, ring that notification bell if you're interested in seeing live streams and get yourself a free reading and possibly in the future. All right, guys, this is Spiritual Findings, and I'm Vera Lynn. You guys have a blessed 2020.